Hey everybody, Justin with VMP here. We recently had two 2024 Mustang Dark Horses come into the shop for an installation and dyno of our new VMP Gen 6 3 liter supercharger. I want to tell you about how are they made and show you the differences between the Stage 1 and Stage 2 kits. The first kit we're going to be working with is the Stage 1 version. We're going to throw the car on the dyno, get a baseline, and then show you the after result from the supercharger. Stage 1 kit includes this big honking supercharger, all the associated items to install it on the vehicle, and this 92 millimeter round throttle body. There's also a 3.875 inch pulley and a cowl that is unique to Stage 1. So this dark horse baselined at 413 to the wheels. We added the stage one supercharger kit and it made 701 to the tires. Now that's 700 rear wheel horsepower with an available powertrain warranty. Now I'm going to show you the difference with a stage two kit. You probably want to know what the stage two kit comes with. And since I have two throttle bodies and a big honking one right in front of me, yes, this is the 112 millimeter round throttle body that comes with the stage 2 kit. Stage 2 also gets a 3.75 inch pulley and a more aggressive tune that revs to 7800 rpm. After the stage 2 kit install, this car made 761 rear wheel horsepower, a difference of about 60 rear wheel compared to the Stage 1 kit. As you can see, the bigger throttle body and the smaller pulley are paying off along with the tune that revs to 7800 RPM. We have dynoed and installed a bunch of these kits. Um, we have track results from the Stage 2 kit and there are some important things you need to know. The head unit and most of the kit is the same between both Stage 1 and Stage 2. You're going to find that pretty much with any other stages that may pop up in the future as well whether official stages or unofficial stages. Stage one and stage two are the official offerings right now. They have a Carbio upcoming and there are some very basic differences between the two. I'm gonna share them with you and you can make your decision on which you wanna purchase. The biggest thing is literally, we know superchargers need air. So stage two comes with an upgraded throttle body. It's a 112 millimeter billet round single blade throttle body. The stage one kit comes with a single round 92 millimeter throttle body. You see it's kind of cast aluminum and factory-esque looking. Well, this is a stock 2020 up Shelby GT500 throttle body. That's a really good thing because this part meets all the OEM requirements for durability, reliability, tunability. They made a really good decision right there uh, to both keep the cost down of the Stage 1 kit, keep the power warrantyable, and just keep it trouble free for the customer. So as you can see, the opening on the blower is huge. So there is an adapter plate that takes this down to the GT500 bolt pattern. So that's the deal on the throttle body side. There's also a pulley difference between stage one and stage two. Stage two has one size smaller pulley. It goes from a 3.875 down to a 3.750, eighth of an inch increment. It's about one pound of boost, but there's other things going on. When you have a positive displacement style supercharger, the amount of boost it can make is also a function of how much air it can get in. Stage two has a bigger throttle body. It will make more boost and the supercharger will run a little bit more efficiently in terms of taking less power to drive when it can breathe better. Whipple found the perfect threshold where stage one just barely runs out of air with the supplied throttle body right around redline and then 
Stage two really needs the bigger throttle body to support the additional airflow. So they're, they're combining effects right there and that's why stage two makes so much more power than stage one. You can't always expect those type of gains jumping stages. There's also other important differences I want to bring up. Stage one is available with a warranty. It's an additional cost when you purchase the kit from VMP or Whipple. It must be purchased at the same time as the kit. There's no going back later on. It causes too many problems, has to be documented with the supercharger purchase. Something really big is that Whipple's confident that the stage one is going to live long life with Boost. Confident enough that they're offering a warranty for an additional cost. To achieve that reliability, the tune does have just ever so slight safeguards in it. The rev limiter is about 300 RPM lower, and that's one of the things that affects the peak horsepower number. You know when you rev these Coyotes, they just keep making more. So they do keep the rev limiter in check around 7,500 RPM on stage one versus 7,800 on stage two. Other than that, there's some little nannies in the stage one calibration. You know, hey, I'm just gonna buy a stage one with the warranty and then change the pulley. Uh, uh, uh. You know, first of all, just by doing that, you void the warranty. Second of all, the computer is smart enough to close the throttle body if it sees more boost. Don't do that. Be happy that you're rolling around with 680 to 700 at the tires. That's just incredible in this day and age, and stage two is even more incredible. I just told you most of what you need to know. There's a couple other little tidbits I'm gonna throw in there. Both stage one and stage two kits come with upgraded air filters to make sure that the supercharger can breathe and has as little restriction at the inlet as possible. These kits do tend to evolve as time goes on. Um, there are certain things that have to uh, remain the same because of the CARB-EO and emissions compliance, but things can always be updated. Other kits can be added at either lower horsepower levels to cater to a certain price point or even higher horsepower levels as technology evolves. So this video is a great representation of what's going on at this point in time. And the horsepower numbers that we're quoting are what we believe a really good average based on the number of kits we've installed at this point in time. With either option, I don't think you can go wrong. You're gonna be smiling ear to ear the first time you go watt with this supercharger system. If you're looking for a supercharger for your 2024 Mustang GT or Dark Horse, hit us up at VMP Performance. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.